Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinkerer Studio and welcome to the first tutorial of the 3D Game Assets series. In this tutorial we will be modeling low poly forest assets. This tutorial series assumes that you know the basics of Blender modeling. If you're new to Blender, I would recommend viewing my Blender Basics course before beginning this series. So let's go ahead and change our renderer to Cycles. Go into Orthographic View and Front View and tab into Edit Mode. Go ahead and delete the cube and add a cylinder and go ahead and change the vertices to 8. Select the top face and move it up along the z-axis about 5 blender units. Then go ahead and scale this top face until you have the shape of a cone. Now add 5 horizontal edge loops. Then what we need to do is add an edge loop above each of these edge loops. And as we do this, we will move the new edge loop down to the previous edge loop. Okay, and make sure that they are equal. And this includes the very bottom of the what's going to be our leaves, the top part of our tree. Scroll down. Now when you get these two edge loops even, go ahead and scale out this newest edge loop. And then do this for each of the edge loops. Once you have all of these edge loops scaled, go ahead and select all of the edge loops. And then move them down along the Z axis. Now go into top view, make sure you deselect everything, Then what we want to do is select these vertical and horizontal vertices. Okay, then once you have all of those vertices selected, go back into front view and then move these edges down along the z-axis. Go ahead and add a cylinder and then move it down below the tree. And this is going to be our trunk, so go ahead and scale it. Then add a horizontal edge loop in the middle of the trunk 
and then just scale it down just to give it a little bit of character. Now go ahead and select the leaves and open up the materials tab. Click on the plus button and the new button. Rename the material leaves and give it a green color. I'm going to use the hex code of 6CC651. And then go ahead and assign the color. Now select the trunk. Click on the plus button and the new button and we'll name this trunk and give it a brown color. I'm going to use the hex code of 9D7248 and then click assign to assign the color. So that's our first tree that is done. Now let's go on to our second tree. Go ahead and add a cylinder. Then scale it along the X and Y axis. You can do this by hitting S and then Shift Z. Then select the top face. and then extrude it along the z-axis and scale this top face until you have the shape of a cone then we can go ahead and add additional horizontal loop cuts and scale them and move them around to reshape the trunk of the tree And then we'll just start with the left side of the tree. What we're going to be doing is adding loop cuts where needed. And then go into vertex mode. And decide on what faces you're going to use in order to make a branch. I'm going to be using these two faces. So I'm going to select the top center vertex and move it up a little bit. And then the bottom center vertex and move it down a little bit. And just make this a little bit more rounded. And go back into face mode. Select these two faces. And then extrude them. However far you want and then just scale the end so you have like a cone shape again and then just add in loop cuts and again we can use these loop cuts to go ahead and shape the branch just like we did with the trunk and then just repeat this process for however many branches you actually want and in whatever places you want them to be.
And when you're done, go ahead and select the entire tree and assign the trunk material to it. So that's tree number two. Now for tree number three, go ahead and select this entire second tree that we made and duplicate it. Add an icosphere. And then go ahead and move it up above the tree. Turn on your proportional editing. Make sure that you have it set to connected. Then just go ahead and select various vertices. Hit your G key and use your scroll wheel to make this circle larger or smaller depending on how much surrounding area around that vertex you want to actually manipulate. And then just go ahead and start manipulating and changing the icosphere. Change it however you want. And then once you have the form that you like, go ahead and select the whole thing and start putting it on the branches. Make sure that the branches are covered and you can go ahead and scale or reshape these as you want. One tip when you're scaling, make sure that you turn off proportional editor. It'll make your life a lot easier. So I'm just going to duplicate these and move them around and make some changes to them. Okay, and then once you have all of your leaves set to where you want them, go ahead and select all of them and assign the leaves material. And then we have three different types of trees. Now we're going to make some very simplified rocks. So go ahead and add an icosphere. Go into wireframe mode and select the bottom half of the icosphere. Then we're going to scale the faces so they're flat. You can just do this by hitting S, Z, and then 0. Go ahead and turn proportional editing back on. Make sure that you choose connected. And like before, we're going to go ahead and just choose various vertices and manipulate our rock. Go ahead and duplicate these a couple times and just make various rocks.
Then once you're done making your rocks, go ahead and select all of them. Then go back to your materials tab, click the plus button, new button. We'll name this material rock. And we'll go ahead and give it a very dark gray color. I'm going to use the hex code of 505050. And then assign the material. Now the last thing we're going to make is some grass. So go ahead and add a cube. And then scale it along the X and Y axes. And go ahead and grab this top face and scale it down so you have kind of a cone shape. Then add a couple horizontal loop cuts in the center of the blade. And then we're just going to go ahead and manipulate these to give the grass a bit of a curve. I can duplicate this a couple of times and make some slight changes to it. And when you have your grass blades done, go ahead and select all of them. And in your materials tab, click on your plus button and your new button and just name this grass and give it a green material. I'm going to use the hex code of 72C920. And assign the grass color. And there we have our very simple low poly forest assets. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.